It's Diddy Kane, I'm back like I never left. Cooking up content like a chef. Shooting videos like I'm Steph uh, Curry. So hurry up, subscribe, cause it's time for us to slide. Throw them C's up. Make sure you throw them C's up in the comment section if you are part of Triple C's. If you are not a part of Triple C's and you would like to be, make sure you smash the subscribe button and throw them C's up in the comment section. I have one for the history books for you guys today, baby. So we had an order that was $200 that ended up turning into $470. It is one crazy story. Now, this low is picking up from, I'm gonna tell you guys where it's picking up from in the first place. It was supposed to be picking up from a place called Bensonville, Illinois. We were supposed to drive 47 empty miles, 59 loaded miles, 106 miles all together for $200. You guys would not believe what happened. I'm gonna tell you the story right now and I ain't capping, let's go. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more details about this load. I'm gonna give you guys a full breakdown. The payout is $200. The pickup place is in Bensonville, Illinois, which is about three miles away from the airport. The pickup time is 3 p.m. on a Sunday. Sunday was yesterday. And we're gonna drive 47 deadhead miles, 59 loaded miles, or so 106 miles all together for $200. So I put the bid in on this at 10.28 a.m. They called me around 10.45 and said we won the bid. So I'm like, okay. So I was editing the video for you guys yesterday when they called me and said that I wanted to be it. So, I'm sitting there chilling, I'm still editing. I'm like, yeah, we got that low. I call my business partner, like, yeah, we got us a low. We got to go ahead and get our pockets on. So I'm still uh, editing the video, getting this right, right? Then, they called me around 11.15 to 11.30 and let me know the pickup location has changed from Bensonville, Illinois, to the actual airport instead. So I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Hey, look. And, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget this part. And the pickup time has changed from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. and the drop-off time is now 9 p.m. instead of 5 p.m. So I'm like, look, man, if I knew this was going to be picked up from the airport, I would have never, ever, 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 ever put a bid in on it for $200. I would have put the bid for $350. So I let them know, look, hey, I want the bid to be $350. I know that I said 200, but I did not know that it was going to be changed of location from the pickup area. I didn't know that I was going to be picking up from the airport. If I knew I was going to be picking up from the airport, I would have put the bid in for like $350. So I said, well, we can't really change it now. This, this, and that. Um, the most we can do is give you the $8 for detention. Now, detention is when you go to a pickup location and you have to wait a long time to be loaded. For this particular company that I'm working with, you get $40 an hour after the first two hours. So if you have to wait two hours, that's free. Anything after that, you will be paid $40 an hour. So since the pickup time changed from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., that's four hours altogether. So we skipped the first two hours, so we're gonna get paid for two hours at $40 an hour. So instead of $200, we are now gonna receive $280 for that order. So. Honestly, me and the dispatcher, we went back and forth for a whole bunch of messages because I was I was highly upset about this because I kind of feel like y'all finessed. I kind of feel like they finessed and they, they weren't honest in the first place. They were trying to act like it was another place to pick up from when it was the airport the whole time. And the reason why I'm going to say this is because this is one of the key things he said. That I need to have my paperwork in hand when I go to the pickup location and I'm also going to be using a thing called Macro Point. Macro Point is pretty much a tracking device where the customers can find out exactly where you were with the load. Now. This is the reason why I know you was finessing. This is how I knew he's finessing. I knew he's finessing because if you were saying, if you already put that in the notes when the load was sent out to people, how is it now that it went from Bensonville to the airport? Bensonville and the airport are not the same thing. Bensonville is three miles away from the airport. And if I knew that it was in Chicago, I probably would have thought it was the airport by the wording in the notes. But you didn't say airport pickup. You switched it from Bensonville to, to the airport after I already accepted the order. So I, that's the reason why I think you're finessing. Now, this is the reason why you guys have to pay attention to everything that's going on with these apps, with these carrier servers, with the shippers, with the receivers, with everybody. And always, 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 always do what's best for you because they're always gonna do what's best for them. You need to make sure that you're doing the best thing for you. 
Don't let them finesse you and tell you, oh yeah, with this and this, what we try to, a lot of times they be lying. Because I know when they change the pickup location, I'm positive they got some extra money. If the customer changed it from this place to this place, I'm sure that they don't do nothing for free. Whether it's three miles, two miles, or half a mile, it doesn't matter. You changing the pickup location, which means my driver may not be in position to get that load. So I gotta charge you more for that. And I know that they got some more money for that, and they only wanna give me $80 for detention. So, hey, we about to pull up to the airport, and it's money we ain't missing, let's go. Just like that, we are here at the airport to do this pickup. Hopefully we don't have any hiccups, baby. I hope this joint is ready. We are early, too. It's, we supposed to be here at seven, like six, um, 6.35 or something. How you doing, sir? Yes, sir. Um, I have a load to pick up. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. Um, you have to give it about ten minutes, give or take. That way, some guy named Mike to respond because there's no clearance. Oh, okay. So wait ten more minutes. So yeah, I stay in here, come yeah, back. You just sit, sit down, have a seat. Okay. Relax. All right. Thank you. This is the reason why I like coming to the airport. So the, the order. I, it wasn't even supposed to be picking up from here. It was supposed to be picking up from Vincentville, some address in Vincentville, which is not here. Okay, UPS probably. So then they changed it. The time was supposed to be, I was supposed to pick it up at three, and they changed it to pick up at seven. Okay. And then they said, you're not going to Vincentville anymore, no you're coming to the airport. Okay. Now I, I can't stand, this is the worst thing to do, is come to the airport. Because if you come to the airport, you're gonna wait. It's just- No, not really. Don't say Usually. Like that. Don't say, it, if, I mean, it ain't if, your- if, No, I'm just saying, if your paperwork was, in line, everything was clear, mm -hmm. you would have been gone already. So it's the paperwork. It's the paperwork. So it's you... not clear. There's no there's uh... no one seat. There's no one seat. You know, that's gotta get What clear. is a one seat? It's well, gotta get, get clear through customs. It's customs uh... clear. So if your paperwork was good and you had a one C, you've been gone. But because you don't have a one C, she had to contact your company mm -hmm. and contact the, you know, the customer mm -hmm. and they got to get that one C. And then once they get that one seat clear, it's clear, and then we can, the paperwork is like this. Oh, so don't, sad don't, enough. Don't, don't throw that on us. Don't no, do I'm not. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you gonna don't let me get away that. with that one. Don't, <laughs> don't do, do that. that. Don't I put it on you. you do that. Hey, hey. You I, came in here with your paperwork not right, talking about see, you gotta wait. See, I ain't know this. Okay. Well, I, I know, but I you had some. throw us under the bus. No, I ain't know. Hey, look, look. Uh, hey, it's all about mean, learning. It's all about right, learning. Right, 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 learn right. and earn. So you learn while you earn. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we're just going to have to so, wait and see what happens. You know, when they clear it, we have a one C, mm -hmm. which means customs clear. Mm -hmm. Paperwork is like that. Okay. It's easy. It's, Let me it's, 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 this is easy. You would have been done. Okay. Now don't look like that face you just made didn't look like it was a good face. No, it's, I told him I was going to refuse you because of the clearance, and he said, please don't. I'm working on it now. So just letting him know you're contacting your dispatch, and if they don't want to hold you here, we can't hold you. Okay, so, I'll let him know. We can give you a uh, paper where we had to refuse you, and you'd be gone. So we, she was going to she was gonna go that route, but they asked her to keep you here. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to them and then I'm gonna talk to you and then we're gonna figure it out. All right, sound good. A few moments later. Good to go. So, how, many, how many minutes I say? I said you're gonna come in three. You was like, maybe more like 13. I was, I was almost there. Yeah, you're all good, man. Yeah. I'm in the game, coach. Good to see you, good to see you. That's working. Hey, you're good to go. I'm good to go? Appreciate you, boy. What's your name? Princeton. Princeton? My guy, Prince. <laughs> All right, boss, you have a good one. Stay up. Yes, sir. <clears throat> My guy about to get me right, baby. This one's super small. The smaller, the better. The lighter, the better. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit more. Push. Perfect. Thank you. Let's let this join in. I'm going to go ahead and get these dividends. And just like that, it's game time, baby. We're about to go out here and get on the grind and shine. We're going to keep on coming to the top. We ain't going to never stop. Let's go. So we just waited at the airport for another hour. So we went from 280, we got an extra $40 for waiting for an hour. So we're gonna be at 320, it's back to getting this money, let's go.
And just like that, we are here at the drop-off location. Woo, receiving hours, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. When that bell is joining, I be close. It look like ain't nobody in this joint. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck! Yeah, it's looking ugly, y'all. Y'all see what's going on there? It's looking like some, but it's looking ugly. I don't see no movement. Like zero movement in that job. I can't make this up, baby. I can't make this up. <laughs> As you guys just saw, the drop-off location was closed. So guess what? I reached out to the dispatcher, let him know, hey, the drop-off location closed. What do you want me to do now? We literally sat there for do 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 we sat there for one whole hour. No, two whole, no, I was lying. It wasn't one, it was two whole hours. We got there like at 9.15 and we left at about 11 o'clock. So an hour and 45 minutes we sat there to fit them to figure out everything. They said I was reaching out to different people, trying to get somebody to come get the load. The place was closed. They had to call these different contacts they have in the building, because the building is huge, and see if somebody can come pick up the load. All in all, what ended up happening, we actually had a layover. What is a layover? A layover is when you get to the drop-off location and nobody can load you or unload you. So, then you're gonna receive, with this company, you're gonna receive an extra $150. It's a good thing that I live kind of close to the drop-off location because I would have had to drive all the way home for us to go hard and get it on. So now we're about to go home. I'm about to give me some Z's and tomorrow we're gonna get back to this cheese. Let's go. The next day. And just like that, it is 6 a.m. the next morning, baby. We are here to with this order to get in order. Dang. It's looking ugly, ugly. Oh, here we go. How you doing, boss? I have a drop off for you guys. I'm about to get us together. Right on time. Hope you're here for us. How you doing, boss? Let me sign this paper real quick. I'm new, I got it. Oh, you get it out the way real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do it right. in this store story time that's what happened in this story time baby it was one crazy day but i do want to tell you guys this with this crazy day for that 407 dollars received all together we made 745 745 with the gucci interior today we made 745 dollars i'm going to spread the videos out we did this one order right here and then we have two more loads we went to go do and that will be in tomorrow's video so make sure you lock in tomorrow because it's going back down because we ain't playing around because 2023 is big bad season we'll keep on giving a reason i'll see you guys on the next one we going we going we fooling you already know it ddk and i'm on my way wait 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 don't forget before you go, go ahead and throw them C's up in the comment section, baby. Throw them C's up in the comment section. I'll see you guys on the next one.